Digitization is really affecting the entire shipbuilding enterprise from design and engineering through production and off into service and support, which is critical when one is trying to achieve improvements in fleet availability and lowering the total ownership costs. So we find shipyards and navies throughout the world focusing on this transformation that technology has enabled to improve fleet performance. When you look at the programs in Australia, you see a number of programs where international partners are gonna be a part of that program. Digitalization will allow those partners to interact and collaborate with local companies in the designing and building, as well as with the supply chain that supports the overall program. So now you have a virtual enterprise that is integrated with technology. So it becomes as efficient as a highly integrated shipyard in one single country. We are aware of at least some shipyards that have improved their productivity 150% by integrating their entire enterprise with digital technology. That means that previously they would build one ship in a period, now in that same period, they build two and a half ships and deliver that. Their order book is full and they see a very robust production schedule going forward, all implemented and in enabled with the use of the latest technology. Siemens has a very comprehensive portfolio, so that means it has various modules that support the shipbuilding process from design and engineering, simulation, as well as production, and service and support. So for the shipbuilding industry, you have a comprehensive suite of software that allows the total integration of the enterprise throughout the production and also throughout the service lifecycle. Well, the supply chain is critical to the success of any program when you realize that 70, 80% of any ship is produced and delivered to a shipyard for final assembly. So by utilizing digital technology, you now can integrate all the suppliers into the same network so they know when to deliver, what to deliver, and ensure that it meets the specifications and requirements of the ship. The same technology is used in aerospace and defense, so you now have suppliers servicing multiple industries with this type of technology not only shipbuilding, but also aerospace, defense, and in many respects, other industries as well. So it's opened up their business potential by being a part of a digital network. We have the whole Siemens PLM capability. So we have most of the UK, US, and the German submarine programs being designed and developed on Siemens PLM software. And it's also the same software that uh, is used to design the F-35, is used to design Maserati, but not just design the Maserati, but also the whole production process of the Maserati. So if you take that broader concept and you look at it from a challenge and capability requirement Australia has to build these massive programs in country, what we're talking about here is the future shipyard, taking the ship cap building capability we have in country today and lifting it up to the next level, which is the future shipyard, which is much more like the Maserati concept. I see a rebirth of the shipbuilding industry in Australia. I see Australia to be an exporter of ships in the, in the future as they become more efficient, as efficient as any shipbuilder in the world. There's no reason why they shouldn't be with the quality and the reliability that's expected by any customer. I think it's vitally important that uh, Australia connects to a manufacturing powerhouse in the world, uh, uh, an engineering manufacturing powerhouse that already has a vision of what the next generations of manufacturing will look like. I don't think that Australia by itself can go it alone, but I don't think the globe will be that way anyway. What you need to understand is that 80% of the global value flows, the global supply chains, uh, occurs through large multinational companies. And a lot of those multinational companies, particularly sit in Germany, if you think about auto, if you think about shipbuilding, the large manufacturing historical routes, if you can tap into the tools that you're yeah, using, you can still participate not only in what they're going to produce for this country, but also for what they're producing for the world. So uh, will anybody go it alone? I don't think so. The Global Village says that everybody will be supplying into every supply chain or every market, but you have to be able to on, uh, operate the platforms.